There are remarkable creatures around us that don't look like much, but they have incredible superpowers that make us jealous. Some of these creatures can regenerate their brain, spinal cord, limbs, tail, the heart, and even parts of their eyes. How did they manage to obtain such incredible superpowers? And how many times can their organs regenerate? Would it be possible to apply this to our bodies so we can regenerate our damaged spinal cords? Something like this could allow us to eliminate paralysis. It has been long known that salamanders, newts, and geckos share a curious superpower of regeneration. They can regrow limbs and tails. But one of these creatures takes this superpower into a whole new level. The Japanese fire-bellied newts can regrow lenses in their eyes. Within the span of 16 years, their lenses can regrow 18 times. Each time, they regrow new lenses with the exact same structure. What makes this unique is the fact that their cells don't lose their powers and express the same genes every time, regardless of aging or eye injury. Thanks to their genetics, Newts are highly protected against cataract, which is a common age-related disease that affects the lens. In humans, however, this disease is responsible for 51% of blindness cases. Although all living creatures can regenerate to some extent, some animals are special. Hydra, for example, can be cut in half and still continue to live. Its two parts will regrow into two new hydras. Jellyfish don't just regrow the missing part but restructure the rest of their body to make up for it. Lamprey eel, an odd-looking jawless fish, can fully regrow a severed spinal cord after being cut twice. The oxalotl, or Mexican salamander, also has the remarkable ability to regenerate its damaged spinal cord. When an oxalotl suffers a spinal cord injury, a group of cells called Galeal cells start multiplying rapidly and repositioning themselves to rebuild the connections between nerves, eventually reconnecting the injured spinal cord. An even more amazing species are leopard geckos that apparently can regrow their brains. Researchers discovered that medial brains of geckos that are usually responsible for cognition have a high number of stem cells that allow them to regenerate their neurons faster. In contrast, humans cannot regenerate brain cells so easily, especially those responsible for cognition. Neuron regeneration, otherwise called neurogenesis, is thought to only happen in the part of the brain responsible for memories. This way we can live gathering all sorts of experiences along the way. However, neurons are not immortal and can be damaged. Unfortunately, upon damage, neurons are often not restored and the damage continues. By determining why species like geckos can replace brain cells while other species like humans can't, it would eventually be possible to treat neurodegenerative diseases in humans like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's and Huntington's disease. The humans are also not deprived of regenerative powers. We constantly regrow skin and hair form thick scars in wounds, and mend broken bones. The most important cell in regeneration are all famous stem cells that can develop into different types of tissues. Human liver has the power to regenerate as well, which is why you could receive half a liver from a donor and it will grow to full size within a few weeks. As little as 51% of the original liver mass can regenerate back to its full size. However, when it comes to regrowing limbs with different tissue types and complex structures, human stem cells are at the loss. Therefore, the goal of researchers is to find a way to give stem cells a little push to begin the regeneration process. This can be done by reprogramming stem cells to become any other tissues in the body. By understanding regeneration in animals, researchers hope to shed light on aging and contribute to the field of regenerative medicine. Regenerative medicine is a promising field that offers an alternative to transplantations. More than 1 million tissue transplants are performed each year around the globe. Hundreds of thousands of people are currently in the waiting list with the hope of receiving an organ transplant. Even having found a donor, there is no guarantee that the transplant will not be rejected by the patient's body. 
Thus, using a patient's own cells to rebuild organs can alleviate organ shortage crisis and save millions of lives. Aging is another process that regeneration can help explain. One hypothesis is that after a certain stage of development, human cells lose their regenerative capacities, leading to their ultimate death. Finding a way to restore their abilities on a genetic level can potentially alleviate age-related diseases and health deterioration in all organs including the brain. Thus, salamanders, newts, and geckos are not just funny-looking creatures running around the backyard. Their complex biology holds the secret that could revolutionize the future of medicine.